obviously it was huge news when Bruce Jenner uh, became Caitlyn Jenner, and there was a big article about it recently, obviously, with a picture. Uh, remember, though, uh, the last interview she did was as Bruce Jenner, and she said that she was a Republican. Interesting. Uh, would the Republicans be willing to accept her uh, as the new woman that she is now? She's always, of course, thought that way, but she's now transformed her body uh, accordingly. Well, let's go to one of the Republican contenders, Mike Huckabee. Uh, he spoke in Nashville earlier this year to the National Religious Broadcasters Convention. And here is some of the things that he said. He said, for those who do not think that we are under threat, simply recognize the fact that we are now in city after city watching ordinances say that our seven-year-old daughter, if she goes into the restroom, cannot be offended, and you can't be offended, if she's greeted there by a 42-year-old man who feels more like a woman than he does a man. Now, you ignorant prick, uh, this is not someone who decides on a, any given day, oh, I feel like a woman today, I'm going to walk into the girl's bathroom. For example, Caitlyn Jenner went through significant surgeries to change her appearance. She was so positive that she was born the wrong gender that after she won her Olympic gold medal decades ago, she secretly did a press conference underneath her suit wearing bra and pantyhose. You think she just made a decision? Decades later, and oh, I just want to go see a seven-year-old and a girl in a bathroom, so I'm going to go in. These are the Republicans you think would accept you, Caitlyn Jenner? Good luck. Uh, go try that. See how it turns out. More from Mike Huckabee. He says, I wish that somebody would have told me in high school that I could have felt like a woman when it came to taking showers in uh, PE, physical ed. I'm pretty sure I would have found my feminine side and said, Coach, I think I'd rather shower with the girls today. It was huge uh, laughter there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's such a joke. Transgender people, ha <laughs> ha, look at them. Yeah, don't we all want to be pervs and go in the women's uh, locker room? And that's why they're doing it. No, you idiots. They don't think the same way that you do. I think, I mean, presumably you're straight and think, I would love to see those girls. They have a different identity. They're not thinking that they're doing it just to be perverts. And by the way, don't get me wrong. In high school, I wanted to go in the girls' locker room too. That's because I'm not transgender. And we were kids. But now you're a grown-ass man running for president, and you think that this is the way to get votes. Well, you might be right about these people, the people in the Republican Party. Finally, he said, I'm not against anybody. I'd just like for somebody to bring their brain to work someday and not leave it on the bedstand when they show up to govern. Well, indeed, I can't add much to that. Careful what you wish for. Uh, if the Republican Party is what you support, understand what you're getting into bed with. It's guys like Mike Huckabee.